This video will explain how to set up a wood lathe to turn between two centres. This will include how to set the tool rest height correctly, how to mount the wooden blank between the two centres on the headstock and the tailstock, how to set the tool rest distance correctly from the material, and any final checks required. The sawn end of the wooden blank is mounted onto the forked driving centre and the centre punched end of the wooden blank is mounted onto the revolving centre. Before starting, isolate the machine by pressing the emergency foot stop and turning the isolator switch to off. This safety precaution prevents the machine from turning on and your hands getting caught in rotating machinery. First, set the tool rest height so that the cutting edge of the lathe chisel touches the tip of the cone on the forked or butterfly centre when the tool is laid level on the tool rest. If this step has been followed, the tool rest is now at the correct height and can be moved out of the way until needed later. Secondly, the forked butterfly centre has teeth on it. Take the sawn end of the wooden blank and press this against the forked butterfly centre. Carefully check that the teeth on the forked revolving centre are inserted into all the lines on the end of the blank. Third, hold the blank in place with one hand and use the other to adjust the tailstock. Turn the tailstock locking bolt down to the right to loosen and up to the left to tighten. Slide the tailstock along the saddle of the lathe until the tailstock and revolving centre reach the material. Then lock the tailstock in place and insert the cone end of the revolving centre into the centre punched end of the wooden blank, as shown. Turn the revolving centre locking bolt anti-clockwise or to the right to loosen. Then turn the tailstock adjustment wheel clockwise or to the right to push the revolving centre into the material. Now lock the revolving centre in place by re-tightening the revolving centre locking bolt. Check that the revolving centre and forked butterfly centre are completely inserted into either end of the material. There should be no movement of the material between the two centres. If there is movement between the two centres, the material is not safe to use and must be retightened. Fourth, move the tool post and tool rest towards the material. The tool rest should not be touching the material but should not be so far away as to be able to get your fingers between the tool rest and the material. Check that the material can spin freely without touching the tool rest. Ensure that you have followed all safety signage. Turn the power isolator switch on, pull out the emergency foot stop and set the speed on the lathe to zero. It is now time to check that the material spins safely. Turn the lathe on at the lowest speed and check the material is not touching the tool rest or moving around between the two centres.